good to be in the house of God. Amen. Amen. I already seen some tears shed. That's a healing. That's the healing ring already started. Amen. Well, we've got a good word. The Holy Spirit put on my heart. Um, this is what we're going to be talking about, guys. Is healing. Let me tell you something. There's a lot to it. There's a lot to it. And the Holy Spirit gave me a big desire to study on healing. You know, a big, big desire. And I can't do that unless He gives me the desire. So if He gave me the desire to, to do this about healing, that means He's going to move on. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Uh, we're going to see some healings. We're going to talk about a lot of different issues. And this is like a seminar that we're doing on healing. So this is the first one that's going to go on. Amen. 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 <clears throat> can you guys hear me okay? Our mic went out. And we out. Everybody can hear me okay? Yeah. Yeah, Amen. All right. Does anybody need change? Amen. Yes. Change. Amen. Change in their health. Yes. When we think of healing, we just think of Naswali Moss and being healed for something, uh, sickness. It's not just sickness. Right. We're talking about today all kinds of healings. All kinds of healings. Every healing that you need, we're going to go in here and we're going to see that, that he already paid for it. And it's there and it's ours for the take. It's for us now. And first we have to understand there's a, there's a big point that we heard of with the Holy Spirit. It's called, He wants this point of cross. He wants the point of knowing the will of God first. We have to know the will of God. And what I'm going to be talking about, church, is, is what He gave me. God's will concerning Him. What is His will concerning about Him? What is His will? Is it, does God want to heal me? What's His will? Is it even in your will to heal me in this life? What is God's will? Second, we're going to be talking about is faith. Remember? Faith, small as a mustard seed, the faith. <coughs> then we're going to talk about why people get sick. Why? See, we get people sick. Did you know something funny? People sick and they don't even understand. They never ask the question, why? What's the purpose? What's the reason? Why is there sickness? Why is this happening? Why? So we're going to get to the fundamentals. You've got to get to the root of the problem. The, a, a, a doctor don't just go in with Jerry. Oh, the Holy Spirit starts to praise God. Amen. A doctor just don't go in and just start cutting away. First, he gets everything, a scan done. And he sees what's the problem. And he sees what's going on. And then you go in and you attack the problem. You pull it and you rip it off. You understand? Praise God. <clears throat> so he wants us to have knowledge about this. Why people get saved. Why some, ready for this? Ready for this? Some people give up on their healing because some people get ill and some people have to wait on it. Well, this waiting process, they give up and they never do get their healing. Why some people get healed quickly while other people wait? Why? Why is the reason for this? Why is that? There's a lot more reasons we're gonna there is here about this, and this is why it's a seminar. I'm not gonna be able to get it all in today. But God, I can tell you this. First of all, <coughs> nobody misunderstand anything. First of all, the Holy Spirit, God can do anything whenever He wants. Amen. He can heal all of us right this second. Amen. In a blink of an eye. Uh, uh, or he can do whatever he wants. He might just pick a few. Right now, I'm, when I talk about the healing, we know by his stripes we're healed. We're believing God that he heals us. But I'm talking about the manifestation of what he already done. Does he? <coughs> you understand? Hallelujah. Does I do that right now, Jerry? Hallelujah. Or there's something in the process. Thank you. Between the healing and the, start and, the, and, the, and the manifestation of it in the process of it. Right. Okay? But I know, I know somebody's going to. I know somebody, if not all, is going to be healed. Amen. Amen. I know somebody, or not all, is going to be healed. Amen. Can you agree with that? Amen. Does anybody believe Amen. God can heal people? Amen. Amen. Does anybody, everybody believed here, everybody believed here, does anybody, so let's bypass this, let's bypass this, let's bypass this and this, let's go to here. Now let me ask. Does anybody truly believe that God can do it? Amen. Okay. You guys know that the that, that the Lord started 
started erupting something with me and Danny and the kids and the twins and all that. The Lord started something a while back, a couple months ago, and he started and had been on this healing thing since then. The God, God's got me, Jerry. Praise God. He wants this church in the healing business. Amen. 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 Uh, he wants us to start. He, that's what he wants, and he's got me digging it all up. Praise God. He gave me this desire, and and that's that's what that's what we want to do. So that's what I'm going to, all that I absorb, whatever the Holy Spirit gave me and he's going to give me, I'm going to share. I told the Lord, give it to me so we give it to So we can understand. So I want to talk about first, number one is God's will concerning healing. What is God's will? Well, Jeremiah 33, 6. Behold, I will bring it. Bring what? Health and healing. Amen. I will heal them and reveal to them the abundance of peace and truth. Amen. I will heal them. And then and then because what's going on is, is we don't we lost the abundance of the peace. Because the sickness and we got and we got and we got used to being broken. We got used to being broken, so then we forgot about the abundance, what he's talking about here. So what he has to do first right there, I'll heal them. After I heal them, then he's going to reveal to them. He's going to show us, freedom ministry, the abundance of peace in Chachimos. That sickness is not for me. I'm going to reveal the peace, the Chachino peace. Or, uh, uh, what about the truth is going to be told in this church? Of what we're suffering about. Of what this sickness is all about. That is not from God. So what is his will? What is the will? His will is to heal. Well, maybe not right now. This is one of the biggest points he wants up. Well, maybe not me. Maybe not now. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. God's will is to heal you. That is God's will. Amen. That is his will. Don't underestimate this. Don't go by who you are. Which, don't undercut his will. That is his will. He sent Jesus. Send the son to die, to heal, to save. That, that's God. Amen? <clears throat> so let's see what he tells us to do next. <coughs> James 5, 13 to 15. And he's questioning us here. Is anyone among you suffering? Is anybody suffering? Well, then he tells us what to do. If you're suffering, let him pray. Pray. Amen. Pray. Is anybody suffering? I didn't put those question marks. That's in the Bible. He's questioning us. That's God's question mark to you, to me. Okay. You suffering? Who pray? I can see him. Like, remember Papa's actions? And he reminds me of Dumby. You remind me of Dumby. Are you sick? Well, then why don't you pray about it? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Let him pray. Is anyone cheerful? Anyone? Yes. Let him sing psalms. Amen. Glory to Lord. Is anyone among you sick? Well, here's what he wants you to do. Here's what he wants you to do. Let him call for the elders of the church. Call for the elders in the church. The elders, the spiritually mature in God. The one Kajanan and The ones who knows God and knows what the word says. Let him, this is what you're to do if you're to sick. He gives his orders here. Let him call for the elders of the church, the spiritually mature in God. Call for the elders of the church. And let them pray over him. Anointing him with oil in the name of the Lord. Amen. Watch. And the prayer of faith will save. Everybody see that? Save. Save. See right there? Amen. This is what we're going to be talking about. The prayer of faith will save the sick. He said it will. It will. And the Lord will raise him up. And if he has committed sins, he will be forgiven. <coughs> now, now understand this. We understand the will. 
We, you cannot properly use faith unless you know the will of God. I have faith. I have faith. I, 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 have, I have faith in this wall. I have faith in the light. I have, but if we don't know, once you know that God tells you that it's in God's word, that what I'm praying for, my faith increases. Because I know this is what God wants, so I got his stamp of approval on it. So this is what he's saying now. Go to the elders of the church. Go to the elders of the church. Go tell them you're sick. Everybody keeps hiding. Do you know God put this church here for this reason? What? Everybody seeking they just hold to themselves. And they think they can heal themselves. And everybody pretends that. No, God put a church here for this reason. Okay? Now, the, the servers, did anybody see anybody heal? We seen, did anybody yeah. see any healings? Come on, really. Yeah. Let's say the elder, spiritually mature, the elders. Spiritually mature Christ. We've seen it. We've seen healings in front of our eyes. Miracles, signs, wonders. We've seen it. Okay? So God's will, God's will is to save us. And you can't properly use your faith unless you know it's God's will to heal you. So everybody got that? I'm going to say that a thousand times. It's God's will to heal you. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay? okay? Now, the word save here, if we go to the Greek, it's called sozo. Look what it means. Save. Make whole in spirit. Mom, you said this. Today you want, let's say, you want a soul and spirit healing. Look. Amen. To make whole in spirit, soul, and body. Amen. That's what he means here. That <clears throat> the prayer of faith will save the sick. In Spirit, soul, and body. Amen. 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 If your soul is crushed, if your spirit is heavy, if your spirit is feeling crushed, that is going to affect the outside what you see. The inside is very important. It needs to be for you to joy, to feel joy, for you to be happy, to be laugh. Okay? It didn't it starts from the inside. It's inside. The joy of the Lord. Where do you think your strength comes from? The joy of the Lord is my strength. It gets oil. You understand? So it's to save and make whole in spirit, soul, and body. Amen. That's what he means here. Now watch this. The word save. It means to deliver. What he means. The original, this is what God says. The original context. When he said save the sick. Save. Deliver. The word save here means deliver. Protect, heal, make whole. Make whole. Make whole. What's not whole? What, what is not whole? Then what's not whole? I want to make it whole. We'll tell them. Keep safe and sound. That's what the word here, save means. Rescue from destruction. Save one from suffering disease. Make well. Restore health. Amen. That one word. That's Lord. what it means there. Amen. That one word. Are you guys understanding what God means here now? What He wants to say. He wants to restore what you lost. He wants to do this. God's will is to heal. He wants to do this. Amen. It's not that it don't think that God don't want to do this. God desires. This is what He wants to do. Is to heal His people. Amen? Amen. So. Healing. Church. What is salvation? Salvation. We say, we want to heaven. Right? Well, healing is like salvation for the body. Save. To save your body, your soul, your spirit. The same thing. Salvation. Healing is for salvation for the body. Shabbat. Okay? Jesus continually healed people. Jesus, when we read about it, we know he, he said, Jesus said, ready for this? We just seen that was the will of God to heal, right? Well, Jesus said over and over that all he ever did, came to do, was the will of God. Amen. That's what he came to do. Jesus came to do the will of God. Well, to heal, to save, to do. That's what he came in. That is in the will of God to do this for us, for the ones he loved. He sent his son to die. Amen. Okay? So, now, now God, that's his will. God's will to heal. Everybody, come on. Come on, say with me. God's will is to heal, right? This is a seminar. This is some deep stuff you want to get. Okay? We need you to stay focused. God's will is to heal. 
Well, how are you going to heal? Well, then God went and made provisions for the human, for man to be whole. He made a provision for that. I, I gave you something to make you not broken. And what did he give us? Isaiah 53, 5. We know it. Well, let's kind of read it together. And there's a reason why I, I, I want to go to a lot of scriptures today. There's a reason why we're going to go to a lot. Let's read it. Ready? He was despised and rejected. Come on, I need it to come out of your mouth. I need, you need to get this out of your mouth, please. Would you please, everybody, just... You know, let's all stand. Let's get this. Let's take this seriously. Come on. Who's a good reader here? <coughs> come on, Walter. You read it. Come on, Walter. You read it. He was despised and rejected. In a man of sorrows, acquainted with the deepest grief, we turned our backs on him and looked another way. He was despised and we did not care. Yet it was our weakness he carried. It was our sorrow that weighed him down. And when we thought his troubles were a punishment from God, a punishment from his own sins, but he was pierced for our rebellion, crushed for our sins. He was beaten so that we could be whole. He was whipped so we could be healed. Ah, word of permission. Amen. Everybody say, he was whipped. He was whipped. So we could be healed. So we could be healed. Amen. Jesus Christ called me up. Jesus was with Jesus was with so we could be healed so we could be healed Jesus was with Jesus was with so we could be healed so we could be healed Jesus was beaten Jesus was beaten so we could be whole so we could be whole God almighty God almighty sent his son sent his son to die to die for us for us so we could be saved so we could be saved body body soul soul and spirit and spirit in Jesus name
guy, you believe everything he says. And guess what it says? Jesus is the same yesterday, today, today and forevermore. Today! Today! He's healing. You believe that? Today! He's the same yesterday, tomorrow, yesterday, today, and forever. Jesus is the same. He's the sick. Jesus doesn't lose our Jesus doesn't lose, uh, uh, get weak on power. He's God. He's God. He is, he does, he's the same. It's the same. His work remains the same. Okay? We just need to study. We just need to study a little bit more on this. We need to study a little bit more on what Jesus did. On yeah. him. One big thing I learned, the Holy Spirit told me. Seek the healer, and the blessing will come. Amen. Come on, Amen. come on! Thank you, Jesus. Seek the healer. Thank you. Seek the healer. Thank you. Imagine you go to the doctor, you know, and you go and you're talking to the knife that's going to cut you. Hey, you don't cut me, right? Oh, please, I want you to cut me. Please cut me. Why not talk to the doctor? That's who you got to talk to. Go to the doctor. Talk to, get to know him. Get to know the physician. That's your provider. You're here. Guess what? Guaranteed results. Mm -hmm. He's the best in the world. Amen. He's the best, 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 best. Forget about Harvard. Forget about all that. He's the best physician. Be taught. Make So you understand. Faith to receive healing cannot properly be used without knowledge of the word. Did you hear me, church? That's why I, why I want you to read this. I want you to I want you to read your, I want you to read these verses. This is a seminar that we started. This is this Jay Jesus can come in right now. I'm believing him for healing every day. Okay? He can come in right now and heal. But this is a seminar to put together. Maybe there's some that needs to be worked out. Maybe there's some things that need to be dug out. Okay? And the Holy Spirit is going to show us that. That's why it says go to the elders. Let's see what's going on. Let's look for the test. Let's, let's look for the, for the scope. Let's see why, what's going on. Amen? <clears throat> Faith to receive healing cannot properly be used without the knowledge of the words. You have to have the knowledge of the word. Knowledge to know the word of God. Amen? Amen. Some people pray, for, uh, pray, pray to be healed. They say, some people say, pray for me to be healed. Pray for me to be healed. When they should say, pray for me to know the word. <coughs> Amen. Pray for me to know the word. Pray for me to know the word. Pray, for, pray. You pray, healing, healing, healing. All right, pray. Yes, yes, pray, pray, pray. But guess what more important? Let me pray for you to know the word. To know the truth of the lie. To know what to accept, what not to accept. To know what to live with. So Amen. that's what we should do. Now, I want you guys to understand this. The word is the seed. A farmer won't expect a crop unless he plants a seed. Imagine a farmer walking in this building, and he comes here and he looks right here, and he sees nothing, and he walks away. <coughs> he's not going to come here and look because there was no seed planted here. So he's not going to expect nothing to grow because there is no seed. There is no ground. There's nothing going to grow here. in you. Now you have faith. You read what it says. You get it in you. Now you have faith to see the healing. Amen. Now you understand. You understand how it works, guys. All the Bible is the same. Listen, the whole Bible. The whole Bible. The whole, it's all the same. It's, it's all the same form. It works all the same. You understand? So the Word of God is very important to be planted in you. And then you watch it. You can watch it. You can actually watch. I'm one. Here it is right here. Here it is right here. Cancer, uh, tumors, uh, right here, right here, right here. You know what God did? I went to church and I promise you. Where's Walt? Come here, Walt. Remember when we went to Mr. Jules Strickland, pastor, overseer of, of us? 
What happened when we went to the church? Before what happened? What happened before? What, what, what did I see? A few days before that, three, four days, I don't remember. Uh, he went on a chest section. My law. And, and they uh, found a mask on his law. And he didn't want to tell his family about it. We was just praying. Me, Jenny, Katrina, and him, we just prayed and we prayed. And we went oh. to uh, the pastor's church there, as a matter of fact, in Middleburg. And uh, they had, they asked us anybody need a healing. And I looked at Anthony, Anthony jumped up before I looked at him. He went up and he asked for a healing. And the pastor prayed for him. And when he laid his hands on him, Anthony felt something happen. He felt the healing. And I think a few days later, we did what happened. I felt the word of God. I'm telling you, I felt the word of God going. Amen. Thank you. The Lord exploded out of me. That tumor. Went to the doctor the next day, and I'm here. Gone. Well, it might not have been the next day. It was a couple days, two, three days later, whatever it was. But that's the word of God. That's why the seed needs to go in. That's why we need to pay the seed in. I keep telling everybody, for I've been preaching this for how long? Guys? Read. Please read. Read the word. Yeah. Last night we had the cake. The birthday cake with the word of God on. I got I got the I got the birthday cake. Jenny made a birthday cake and it had the Bible on. I made by Yamini cake, so I just eat the word. If yeah, so everybody would just do this. If everybody would just eat. Just eat. Just eat. Here's your healing. Here's your healing. Here's everything. Just eat. We can just just eat the word of God. Amen. 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 Let's go over here. Isaiah 55, 11. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. So shall it be. God is, God, is, God is talking to his own word. He's talking to his own word. The word that said, let there be light, he's talking to that. So shall my word be that goes forth from my mouth. It shall not return to me void. Amen. In other words, it will not come back to me without doing nothing. Amen. Right? But it shall accomplish what I please. God's word that goes out, that you're taking in, it will accomplish what God pleases for it to accomplish. Amen. Right? Amen. And it shall prosper in the thing for which I sent it. Amen. What does prosper mean? What does prosper mean? To grow. The barrel. So his word is going to be gone. Go, the body, it's going to prosper. Then what needs to be done? Do you understand? Are you understand how powerful the Word of God is? That we get it in. It goes with the healing. There's healing in the Word. It's alive, guys. It's powerful. Let me tell you something. The Word is sharp, quick, and powerful. Sharp, quick, and powerful. Hebrews 4.12 For the word of God is living. It's alive. Amen. It's not like reading a book. Please. It's not like reading, uh, 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 reading any book. It's not like picking up and reading something on TV. This one here is alive. When you read it, it just don't stay there. It goes and it moves. Okay? It's quick and it's powerful. For the word of God is living and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the division of soul and spirit. It goes between the soul and between their spirit. And it goes and it searches and it sees what needs to happen, what needs to be fixed, what needs to be done. Between the soul and spirit and the joints and marrows. The word of God gets in your bones. Do you hear what I'm telling you? The word of the living God is alive and it gets in your bones. And where the light comes, darkness has to flee. Sickness is darkness. So when the word comes, that darkness is going to go. Amen. Does anybody understand? Amen. Okay. So it goes between the joints and the marrows. And is a discern, it's a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. It knows what the heart thinks. That's why we read the word and it transforms us. Because our heart even thinks. Did you know that your heart thinks? Well, this goes to get your heart thinking, right? How about your heart thinks wrong ways? Anybody got a wrong way of thinking? Not just here, it's here. 
Yeah. I know the right thing, but I really want to do that. <laughs> well, if you read the Word of God, that'll cut that right out. Amen. 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 Okay? Because yes. a lot of the stuff we do costs what we're going through. And Dr. Ben, it's true. It's true. Now, oh, oh. look what he says. Does everybody hear God's Word today? Amen. Amen. Are you receiving anything today? Amen. Yes. Come on. Well, God wants to know something else. Okay. Proverbs 4, 20 to 22. My son. Who's he talking to? Oh. Just, just, the, just, just the boys? All of us. And when he says my son, he's talking to the believer. The believers in here. So who's he talking to? If you're the believer, you're his sons, daughters, he's talking to us right now. Amen. Amen. Give attention to my words. Give attention to them. What is attention? Give them attention. Give them attention. No, give. Tosama. Pay attention and give attention. You want attention from God? You tell me, Jesus, I love your word. I love this word. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Give it attention. It's real. Right? Incline your ear to my sayings. So many of you. God. Incline your ear. Listen today to the word. This healing power is already gone. It's already started. Shabbat right now. The healing already started. Listen. It's gone out. Listen. Do not let them depart from your eyes. Read the word. The intake. The eyes is the one that touches your soul. Oh, oh, oh. Ears. I can't touch your soul, Tiffany. But right now, what you see and what you hear is touching your soul. Right? Do not let them depart from your eyes. Keep them in the midst of your heart. For they are life to those who find them. Life. Opposite. What's opposite of life? Death. Being whole. Not whole. Broken. Unbroken. This is the positive. The words. The words. Oh, 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 oh. It's enough. For they are life to those who find them, and health to all their flesh. Health. Health to your flesh. The Word of God is talking about here. Yeah, listen, listen, please, 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 church. Please, beloved, listen. The Hebrew word for help is medicine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. The remedy is giving us. The remedy. Is the word. The remedy. He's giving you the medicine. The prescription. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. Oh, we're gonna. The Holy Spirit's gonna throw it out of the park in a minute. Oh, he's getting you. He's gonna throw it out of the park. So, so health. The Hebrew, the original word, when it says here, for they are life to those who find them, and health to their flesh. This is the physical healing. This is the healing we need. The healing we see. Physical flesh, right? The remedy, the, the medicine, right? Are you ready? Are you ready with the Holy Spirit's going to do here? Look what the Holy Spirit did. This is church. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. This is Jerry 1. If you don't get this, he, he got two scriptures. And if we get two scriptures, and if we put them together, and if we, if we dig in the Word of God, and we read it, and if we understand it, if we take it in, we can see. God will give his eyes to see what is he saying. Watch. Exodus 15:26. The Lesser's translation says, "I am the Lord thy physician." Amen. If we put Proverbs 22 and Exodus 15:6 together, we find, "I am the Lord thy physician, and the medicine I prescribe is my work."
Can you see yourself at peace? Can you see it? Faith has eyes. You can only see it in faith. What you hope for will actually happen. Do you believe deep what you hope for will actually happen? Do you believe what you hope for will actually happen? Can you see it? I want you to I want you to put it in your brain. I want you to put it in your heart the way you want it to be. Can you see what you hope for is actually going to happen? Can you see it? If you can, you need to put faith on it. Because faith will give you the glasses to see the purpose, to see what you want to be. Paul, can you see? Can you see what you hope for will actually happen? Amen, man. That's faith. That's faith, man. That's faith. Thank you, Lord. It's going to happen. Is any believers in the house today? Amen. 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 Can we say, we believe in Jesus Christ. You say, don't make me make you say, say it right now. Say it right now. I believe my hand is coming. What do you want right now for God? What hand do you want? I want you to, I want you to plant a seed right now. You plant the seed out of your mouth, Joel. You want to hit what? You want blood pressure? You want sugar gone? Sugar gone? Okay, that's what you want. Say it. Say it. Say it. In the name of Jesus, say what you want. What do you hope for? Jerry, what do you hope for? I have a question that I need to be gone. In the name of Jesus. I want a new eye. I want these glasses off. In Jesus' name. Can you see it? Yes, Can you see it? I see it. Thank you. Can you see your healing? Can you see your healing? Can you see your healing? Shabbat, everybody's going through something. Somebody, we're all family. Let me tell you something. Yeah, we've got the love of God. We've got a beautiful church. But God says I didn't just do it for that. I did it for y'all to be okay. We need, we, need to, we, need to, we need to tighten up a little bit. We need to get to the elders of the church. Because this is the way. It's incorruptible. You know, I found out it's incorruptible. He never, never was wrong once in five years. He wasn't never wrong as long as I know God. Never. Everything he said, mm, mm, I didn't understand. <laughs> no, what do you want? I didn't no, understand. No, really? You want me really to do that? What? You really want me to do this? Uh huh. He was right. Yeah. He was right. He's always, always right, correct. He's always on time. He's always on purpose. His timing is now. I don't know how it's better to tell you. His timing. God's timing is now. Sure. God, this is it. This is it. They, 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 they don't climb me. Mark does not climb me. There is no more climbing for your life. This is it. Hallelujah. Amen. This Hallelujah. is it. Don't climb me. Don't climb me. Can we go to another subject? Come on, come on, man. Amen. Come on. Can I touch a little bit? This will put Bring more peace on some people. Bring it on. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. This is it. Oh, this is it. happen to good people and, we, and it kind of causes doubt if we don't understand yeah. why and we kind of get mad and talk yeah. Yeah. Jerry I need I need everybody to hear this come on I need everybody back there to put their face this way in here Amen. Amen. we're in the Word of God the Holy Spirit the anointing is so strong today and there's people being healed there's people being healed right now Right. <laughs> you ever wondered why did they pass away? Why did this happen to good people, godly people, godly people, godly people? Them what? They were the best people. Why? Isaiah fifty-seven one. Good people pass away. The godly often die before their time. But no one seems to care or wonder why. No one seems to understand that God is protecting them from the evil to come.
don't know for sure. I'm not God, but this is what the scripture is saying. God bless you guys, but I have to say it. About Otako Johnny says that's what old. What would have happened if he stood? I can't. Yeah. Nobody seems to understand because I pull them out before they suffer. This blew me away. I never understood this. I never understood this. I, never, I, never, I just found the God. I just don't put that. But it's talking to the God in here. Nagini Sarin, because the devil doesn't want you to get killed so you don't go to heaven before you meet Jesus. There's two ways. There's two, there's two edges to that. The God in here. Sometimes we don't understand why they took it out. Why they were, they were going. They were Jesus. They were in church. They were going. God sees the future. And he goes and he says, before my child goes through anything, let me just bring him home in perfect heaven. Before witness, wickedness. Wickedness gets a hold of him. Yeah. So I'll just take him home now. They will miss him. They will miss her. They will miss him. But they'll just see him later. Yeah. 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 And they'll thank me for what I did. Or <coughs> wow. I'm not saying this, church. But read that scripture. Amen. It's God's word. Are you understanding? Amen. It's not for everything. Not for every. Not any side in because the dushmanu doesn't want to get you off. Not any side in because the dushmanu doesn't try to do things. Okay. Not any side in. He's relentless. He don't stop. The dushmanu. Yeah. He doesn't stop. Okay. You need to let him know that you know who you are. Yeah. You have no idea what goes on in the spiritual realm. You have no idea what God showed me, what really goes on. Does the devil want us to be healed? Yeah. 